Hi, I'm Jenny Oates Baker. Thanks for tuning in to my America's Violinist video blog. Um, I perform a lot and people come when they come to um, talk to me afterwards so many times they want to talk about where did you get that dress. And so I thought this video blog would be fun to talk about some of my gowns and how I found a modest gown or how I created a modest gown. Um, a lot of times I'll find a dress with sleeves but it'll have to be lined or I find a dress without sleeves so I buy two and I create a, have my seamstress create a sleeve. Um, so a lot of the places I look for dresses are at places like Nordstrom Rack, Neiman Marcus Last Call, Off Saks Fifth Avenue um, because I found that some of the more expensive stores have more dresses with sleeves because people with more money sometimes tend to dress a little classier and so they demand a sleeve. Um, so those are good places to look. Um, there's also some websites that have a lot of designers that um, tend to create dresses with sleeves. Houtlook, H-A-U-T-E-L-O-O-K, is an online um, site where you type in your email and then they'll send you emails every day or so telling you what designers are um, at on closeout and you can get a gown from two to three hundred dollars which um, is usually a six seven eight hundred nine hundred dollar gown so at substantial savings um, so how look rue la la is another one of these closeout sites guilt g-i-l-t um, so those are really great places to look and if you if they send you emails look for certain designers that I'll, I'll tell you tend to make a lot of gowns with sleeves so um, here are some of my gowns um, I'll start with this one. This one is on my latest album, um, Awakening. It's on the cover. It's a dress by Thea. Um, I think you can see the name a little easier on this gown. This gown is also a Thea gown. Here is the, ah, where's the label? Here it is. So Thea, that's how I spell it. Can you see that? Um, T-H-E-I-A. But this, this gown is on my... Um, Suo Gone video for the movie Cokeville Miracle um, and I as you can see probably we took some of the material from the bottom of the dress and built up the sleeve here and also lined it with a lining that I bought to match the pre-existing lining so that's a Thea dress along with the pink one here's another Thea dress that's kind of fun with all the beading another designer that tends to make a lot of gowns of sleeve is, is Sue Wong um, I think I have a few of her dresses, and um, I don't think I had to do anything to this dress, which is always refreshing. This is another Su Wong. Um, we built up the sleeve. We added to the pre-existing sleeve here, um, and I also had it lined so that it would be more modest. Another Su Wong dress. I think I just had to hike this one up on the shoulder so it wasn't so low underneath the um, arms, and I also had it built up underneath the arms just a little bit here to make it more modest. My favorite designer is Tadashi. Um, I love Tadashi dresses. This dress I don't think I had to mess with at all. Let me show you that label on another Tadashi dress. So I love this dress. Oh, this is in my Everybody Hurts video, which is one of my favorite videos. Um, here's another Tadashi dress. I didn't have to mess with this one at all. Love this dress. Um, this one I just added a lining underneath so you couldn't see through. Tadashi. Tadashi. Tadashi, I love this dress. I think it's so fun. I just had to add a lining underneath. Let's see. Oh, one, oh a couple more <laughs> Tadashis. Um, actually, a, a lot more. I love Tadashi. They're just fun, and they have a sleeve already, so many of them, so you don't have to mess with them too much which I appreciate. This one, I think I, I think I just lined these little sleeves here and maybe pulled it up on the sleeves a little bit. Another Tadashi dress, I believe. Yep. Um, yeah, another Tadashi. I love wearing this one at Christmas time. And I just built up the sleeve on the side here. I didn't, my seams just did. This dress, I think is another, it looks like Tadashi. Yep, another Tadashi dress that, I don't think I had to mess with this one at all. Oh, I think I added a little bit of material here on the side that I just had my seamstress pull from the bottom of the dress. 
Those are my Kadashi dresses. Um, Terry John is another designer that does a lot of sleeves. I think I just had it sewn here and it was ready to go. So love Terry John. This dress I didn't have to mess with at all. I think it's fun. This one, I think I just added kind of a lining underneath this see-through sleeve. Um, a couple more Terry John dresses that are kind of fun. So she's a good designer. Um, this dress, I was performing at the Stadium of Fire in Lavelle Edwards Stadium, and I wanted a dress, and I really didn't, I, this was one of the earliest dresses, I gowns I bought, I didn't know where to find gowns with sleeves, and so I bought two dresses <laughs> from Bloomingdale's, actually, um, and I, this one is completely sleeveless, and I used the other dress to have my seamstress build up an entire sleeve and build up the back, because I, it was pretty open in the back. And this dress actually was hit by a firework. I had it, I had to have it repaired extensively. Um, it was hit by a firework at the Stadium of Fire. Um, no one was injured, but the dress was a bit. But it still is fun to wear. I'm wearing it in my upcoming video, Amazing Grace, with millennial choirs and orchestras that'll come out this summer or this fall. This dress is a copy of a Carolyn, or Catherine Herrera, or Catherine Herrera dress. Those dresses are too expensive for me to afford, but I saw a Catherine Herrera dress in the window at Saks Fifth Avenue in San Francisco, and I just thought it was beautiful. And so I took a picture and I had it made. So once in a while I will have an entire dress just fabricated for me. But that's a really expensive way to go, so I don't do that very often. Um, Badge Glee Mishka is another designer that does a lot of sleeves. Um, can you see that? This dress I love because it's uber comfortable. It's like wearing a nightgown, but it looks better than a nightgown on stage. There's another Badgley Mishka dress. Another Badgley Mishka. Um, another Badgley Mishka dress. This one. I haven't worn this one since I was 17 years old. My mom bought this for me at ZCMI in the boutique there, and my husband thinks it's really ugly, but I like it, so someday I'm gonna, someday I'm gonna wear it, because I, I like it, so I kept it. This is my dress I wore to the Grammys. This is a BCBG dress. I don't think I had to mess with this one to make it modest, which was really nice. Um, I just think it's so pretty. That was fun to walk the red carpet in that dress. Um, this one is the one, I haven't worn this in a long time. It's probably a little out of style with its giant puff sleeves. But this is what I wore for the um, President Hinckley birthday celebration concert um, in like 1999 or the year 2000, um, 1998, somewhere around, around there. And um, so it, it's an important dress to me to honor that great man. Um, this dress was in my A Whole New World video and also I did a video with Nicole Pinnell of Pasacagli, I wore it both places. Um, I didn't have to mess with this one at all. It's a Betsy, Betsy and Adam dress. I don't have any others of that, but I was happy we found a sleeve. This dress was one of the cover picture, cover dresses for, I think it was the back cover, for my Disney um, CD, Wish Upon a Star. I just thought it looked very Josephine and Napoleon. So it was, it was fun to wear that dress. This designer, I don't see the designer. I don't know who it is, but it's, I think it's pretty. I just built up the top to make it more modest. This dress I found online, um, VM collection. I don't have any other dresses. It was a bunch of sizes too big, but my seamstress was able to make it fit me. So I was happy about that. Donna Rico has done a few of my dresses. That I found with sleeves. I found this one at Macy's in New York years ago. Here's another Donna Donna Rico. So she once in a while has some has some good dresses with sleeves. Um, when I need to wear a dress for an occasion that's not as fancy, Boehm is a great store. Um, I think it's B O H M E, but they have a lot of fun gowns, not gowns necessarily, but dresses that are kind of fancy and a lot of modest. Things. This dress I got 
when I was about to record my classic rock video, or not video, but um, CD, and this dress has been completely overhauled. It was pretty immodest. <laughs> so we, we sewed it together here, um, built up the sleeves here, added a skirt here, <laughs> um, built up the back here. Um, this dress is really fun to wear, but every time I travel with it, these ostrich feathers break, so I try not to take it very far. But it's pretty fun to wear when you're playing Led Zeppelin. Um, JS Collection, I found some dresses. This one, I just hiked up the shoulders so it wasn't so low underneath the sleeve. It's kind of a fun dress. This one, I just built up the center area and I think lined this part. This is my newest dress that I've probably worn too much lately, but I, I think it's so pretty and I it's comfortable. This is a Adriana Papel. She, I, she's, she has, uh, my daughters have some of her dresses as well. She does a lot of sleeves and I just um, took some of the material from the bottom and built up this little center section and then aligned these sleeves. So those are my gowns. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll remember that um, if you're trying to find a gown, those sites and those stores probably will be good places to start. And I think you can also pray for help because I think God does care about us trying to dress modestly and he will help us in that effort. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and also check out my music video YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day.